Has anyone wondered how much power this thing really makes? Today we're going to do a little test how much this 50cc dual overhead cam really makes. So the plan is to do some test runs. I have a little app on my cell phone that uh, uses GPS to track speeds and track the times to do a quarter mile run. So we're going to take it out, do a little bit of warm up and we're going to take this thing for a spin and do some measuring. Hopefully we'll get some decent times or we have, we'll have some, at least some good runs. And after that, we will check what we have and do some calculations. Let's go. Let's have a look at the numbers and do some crunching. I've tried to do a couple of runs. It was actually a bit harder than I was than I would think. Uh, there was a lot of wind, so uh, yeah, it was actually harder than I, than I would think. I have a couple of runs in. I'm going to take the best one because for some reason this one is faster but has a much lower trap speed, which is very odd. But I'm going to take the best one. God damn it! 30 seconds later, these are the details. So we have a minus 0.02% of slope, which is, let's consider this a flat road. So it was a pretty good run. We did a quarter mile run in 27.39 seconds with an exit speed of 47.91 kilometers an hour, which I think is actually pretty good. Let's I just found an online horsepower calculator. Uh, here we can use the elapsed time method. So let's put this thing in. The dry weight of the Dream 50 is 85 kilograms. I'm going to add 10 kilograms for fuel and oil. And I'm going to add 100 kilograms for myself. <laughs> I wouldn't really know because I haven't weighed myself in the past eight years because I don't really care. So, 195 kilograms, and we did a 27.39 seconds. 39, calculate. That should say it's a 4.14 horsepower, which is actually pretty close to the 4.5. They say there is a 15% loss between the engine power and the wheel horsepower. So let's four and a half. So there is there would actually be less loss. I don't know. That's possible. Or the bike is making more power than stated. Let's use the other method. So 195 and the trap speed was 74.91 kilometers an hour kilometers an hour oh did i put this in a pound no kilograms the trap speed method says 3.38 hmm so we have two different 
values. I'm not sure how accurate these formulas are. I didn't make this website, so so other statistics that we've measured with this app. Uh, the this is something I, I would try to do with um, all of the bikes I have here. Maybe make a mini series out of it. How fast is it? To see how fast the bike goes from zero to forty-five kilometers an hour. Why 45? Because that's something they all should reach, and except for the Solex, and probably except for the Royal Nor, because that also doesn't reach 45. Uh, and 45 is the legal speed for a 50cc registered as moped. So I took that speed because some of them are actually moped registered. So let's see, the shortest time is 7.64 seconds for a 0 to 45 kilometers an hour. The longest one, 9.24. So maybe I'll try to make a mini series out of this and make, maybe make a little graph of each bike on how fast or how slow they are. So thank you very much for watching at this uh, little test of the bike. The bike drives really great. I've had uh, a little over 200 kilometers now. And I absolutely love it. It uh, drives super, super good. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. See you in the next one. Bye.